What's up everyone, Zach Seif here, and today we're gonna to be checking out my brand new Pelican Air 1615 case. Now, despite how big this package may look, it's actually pretty light. The Pelican Air series tends to be up to like 40% lighter than the standard line, so I'm pretty excited to check this out and see what it looks like. Here comes the 1615 Air. This is super cool. So this case looks a lot sleeker and a little bit more polished than the 1610 case, which I've been using for almost three years exactly. And it's nice to have something new and shiny. Uh, construction looks really nice. It barely weighs anything. We'll do a comparison between the 15 and the 10 later on. But for now, let's take a look at the inside. So what I like about this immediately is the push button to release. It's a lot easier than just trying to pry the handles open on the standard series. This is going to save your hands a bit. Yeah, don't put your kit inside of the case. Not recommended. Uh, no protection under warranty if you put the kit inside the case. So as we can see, we have the regular eggshell, a egg carton style foam on the top. Nice for shock and impact resistance. And we have a couple layers of the wonderful pluck and pull foam where you can just kind of choose where you need the foam to be cut out. So we got the top layer and we got the mid layer. So now we get to the tricky part, which is deciding how we're going to cut the foam out to fit the equipment we need. So the first thing you want to do is figure out exactly what you're putting in the case, where it needs to be in order to fit and then seeing how you can finagle everything around so that you can fit the most amount of gear possible while still having the most amount of protection. So at the bare minimum, I need to be able to fit the Fractal FM9, my Seymour Duncan power stage power amp. I have two power cables, a speaker cable, and two Mogami instrument cables. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the FM9 and just kind of place it down I get a feeling for how much space I actually have. This Pelican 1615 Air has enough room to fit everything I need. I mean, if I wanted to go back to expression pedals, I could even fit an expression pedal there. And then I could vertically insert the power stage somewhere around there. And it still has plenty of room. This is just the first layer. And then keeping in mind that the second layer is going to stay taut and probably not cut to then have a full layer of protection between that fractal and the cables and everything that I put on the bottom. So yeah, this is gonna take a couple minutes to kind of move around and figure out and see how I wanna lay everything out. If you look a little closer, the plug and pull starts about, I'd say an inch from the end of the foam. So that means that even if you have to take all of the foam out on this half, you still have an inch of protection between the edge of the case and the end of where your equipment is going to be. So you figure this is the least amount of protection that you need and you can have more depending on what you're trying to fit. So the plug and pull foam measures three inches from top to bottom, which is good to know because that kind of lets you know how deep you're going to go with your units. And since the FM9 at its highest point is just about three and a half inches. That means I'll have about half an inch of the unit sticking up, which is probably fine because the foam on the top is very soft and has a little gift to it. So I gotta see if I cut out the amount for the FM9. All right, let's say I take that layer off and we put this in. Yeah, it doesn't come past the top. So when I put this down, yeah, it closes without, without a problem. So I could do that and be totally fine. So that gives me peace of mind for the FM9. It's just fitting the rest of the gear now. So what I'm thinking here is I'm going to have the FM9 and the Duncan 
on the bottom level. And this is gonna allow me to have a, an entire protection level of foam above it. And then I can just place my cables and other stuff on top and forego this since I'll already have the protection here. So we're gonna cut this out and at least get that to size. And even if I change my mind, I still have a full layer of foam that's uncut and I can store the FM9 and the Duncan on top and other stuff on the bottom. I also have the option of getting one of those Trek Pack organizers on the top. I just don't know if I'll be able to fit all my cables there. So we're gonna play with that a little bit and see what happens. So one trick that I like to implement when using this pluck and pull foam is take a toothpick and put it where you think you want it. And it won't actually cut the foam out, but it'll at least give you an idea as to where the foam will be cut out. And then that way you can kind of check the other levels of the foam and you can just kind of eyeball everything before committing to actually cutting it out. And then I can take the FM9 out and it just kind of shows me how much I have left to kind of play with. And then I'll check that against the other level and make sure that it'll fit on the bottom. And then the last thing I did was make sure that the FM3 would also fit. Now obviously it's basically just a little bit shorter than the FM9 in terms of overall length. So I can fit both. Just wanted to double check all of that. So if you plan on bringing out multiple rigs or have different pedal boards and you want to have just one case, you can kind of double check your specs for all of that. As you can see, I still have about two or three pieces of foam or about, what's that, maybe an inch? About two inches of space between the power amp and the fractal when using the FM9. So I think I'm gonna start cutting and we'll see how that works. As you can see, the FM9 just fits where I cut out. I should probably go one deeper because it's just gonna crush that foam, but it doesn't move. Likewise, on the Duncan, I probably took away one row too many. So it has a little bit of room, but at the same time, since the power input sticks out a little bit, I think that if I had that extra layer, it wouldn't quite fit right. So I'm fine with this. This this is nothing. It's still not going to move once the other layer of foam is on top of it. So I'm gonna cut one more layer from the FM9 and there's still plenty of room between the two units. Oh man, fully loaded, this weighs significantly less than the 1610 case. Nice new set of handles. The telescoping arm on the back comes up pretty tall. It comes up to about chest height on me and it rolls very easily. It's pretty happy with that. It comes up to pretty comfortable height. A quick comparison between the 1615, which is my new case, and the 1610, which was my old case. The 1610 is just the slightest bit deeper, but the 1615 is significantly longer. It's also lighter. And since it's new <laughs> compared to old, this one's a little beat and has a lot of scrapes and cuts on it. This one should have nice smooth functionality. I do notice that the wheels are thicker on the 1610 and they're a little thinner on the 1615. So we'll see how that holds up over time. There are four latches on the 1610 and there are five latches on the 1615. And now for the most important test, how much does this case weigh fully loaded? Uh, it's covering the scale. Let's slide this over a little bit. And we come into 37 pounds and 8.6 ounces. So you round that up to 38, and this bad boy checks into most airlines for free. And that is what I'm talking about. 
And that just about wraps up today's video. I can't wait to take this thing on the road with Crafts the Party. We've got a ton of shows coming up at the end of the year, and this thing is hopefully going to change the game, make my life a lot easier. It's less weight and it fits more stuff. So I'd say it's a win-win compared to my old Pelican case. Be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. What kind of cases do you guys use to travel? Do you use Pelican cases, soft cases, big road rack cases? You have to let me know. I can check those out and see what's up. Be sure to check me out on social media. All of those links are also in the description box below. Take two seconds to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out more than you could possibly know. Until next time, everyone, keep on rocking, keep on practicing. Stay safe.